top teams face off to see who is on top in Conference USA. It's Marquette and Louisville now on ABC. Some who would say this is the biggest college basketball game in Milwaukee in a number of years. These kids would agree. Students have been sleeping outside in freezing cold temperatures since midnight last night just to get inside the Bradley Center and watch number two Louisville take on number 11 Marquette. They have one of the most explosive players in America, Dwayne Wade, a member of my all Rose Royce spot. I love him. He's here at the Bradley Center, the outstanding player for Marquette, Dwayne Wade, along with his wife and young son, Dwayne Wade, honored for scoring a thousand point stick in his first two years of college basketball. Not a lot of people can say that. But what we were wearing, we would have lost. Tyquan Dean, a sharp shooting freshman, knocks down a jumper, and Wade answers at the other end. And that's what all Americans are supposed to country the way these two programs are moving up. Now you're going to take a look at Wade from out of Chicago to Windy City. There he's under control. He lays it off the glass. But as you said earlier, eight threes yeah. against Cincinnati. That's big time for a diaper dam. Look at Wade. That is where he is as tough as any player in the country. Wade gave a big lift. There he is right now. We're going to see the All-American try to work to get into the three-second area. There he is in the paint area, and there's that quick pull-up with the great legs. What makes that possible is his leg strength. Look at the leaders here. Number one and two in this game. Nice screen up on top by Jackson. They're going to get him involved on the post area. They're going to get Jackson some touches inside. There's Wade. Nice feed. There's Jackson. Hey, did you coach? A little bit. <laughs> once in a while. Gotta bring it in and miss the, miss the baseline. We'll step aside early in the second half. They've traded a basket, so Marquette is still up by one. Clear out. Let this guy go. Let him go to shake and bake. Put it to the deck. Let him go to the basket. Novak screen oh. trying to get him free. Jackson handles the pass and lays it in. Well, you know, he created that again in an isolation of one-on-one -on -one for one. He misses one, and it's a four-point lead with plenty of time to go. Marquette's gone two and a half minutes since they last scored. What a oh. shot by Wade. Acrobatic. I told you all game long that he's one of those clutch players. Big guy has fouled out for Marquette with 14 points. There's Barishna Crawford shorts. Look at the ballerina. <laughs> Look at the little dance. Hanging in the air. Kissing it on the glass. I'll tell you, what a great finish. Two tremendous teams going head we'll to head. All right, Greg, we're ready for the sixth-seeded Missouri Tigers and the third-seeded Marquette Golden Eagles against Holy Cross. Diener got a lot of open looks. And Ralph was 29 points. Wade down the lane. Nicely done. But I like and Wade's basket was made by the Diener penetration. Look at him take his man into the paint. The defense contract. Marquette, Missouri tied at 20 apiece. Clemens along with McKinney in the backcourt. Young, Paulding, and Arthur Johnson in the front court. A steal by Wade. Watch out. Bang. Johnson could not get into that paint. It was difficult for him to raise up on that jump shot. And if Clemens and McKinney don't hit some perimeter shots, as Wade does there, it's going to be hard to get the ball to Arthur Johnson. Time right out, Missouri. Right on the money. Whereas Marquette's formula for success has been inside out, penetrating. Again, out of control. If you use the left hand, you make that one. Way the other way. He uses the right hand and banks it home. Mark the combination of Travis Diener and Dwayne Wade on that fast break situation. The best part about that. Wade. No room for Novak to shoot that three-pointer today. Wade on the baseline. And hits. And he's shooting his team out of the game. An air ball by Ricky Clemens. And Wade Anthony. Now in the basketball game. Here's Diener. Wade spins baseline. Reverse layup. Got it. Dwayne Wade. Told you, Cronkies, a lot of the little things, that's how you win. Here's Dwayne Wade. Looking for a shot. Inside, fires, and he gets it to go. Marquette reclaims the lead. In just a tremendous contest, Marquette up by two. And again, it's all about Dwayne Wade, leading scorer in CUSA, Conference USA. And he just makes this happen all by his lonesome. That's what makes you the conference player of the year, having that three zone. The winner here advances to the Sweet 16. Wade across the lane, down at Dwayne Wade. The Golden Eagles 
will head for Minneapolis. They defeat Missouri 101-92 and advance to the Sweet 16. Welcome to the Final Four on CBS. And for every young child with a backboard and a basketball, this is the dream to one day make it to this stage. The national semifinals return to the Louisiana Superdome here in New Orleans, where up first it'll be the Marquette Golden Eagles taking on the Kansas Jayhawks. And then, of course, Dwayne Wade. And what a player you're going to see here today, folks. Well, there have only been three people in the history of the NCAA that have, a, have had a triple-double in the tournament. Dwayne Wade is one of them. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Louisiana Superdome for today's semifinal game between the Marquette Golden Eagles and the Kansas Jayhawks. Let's meet the starting lineups. A 6'5 junior from Robbins, Illinois. Number three, Dwayne Wade. Substitutions, able to win a national championship. Here's Wade's first attempt, and yes, it's a two. Now that Marquette's in the zone defense, Heinrich took advantage. Great change of dribble. Dwayne Wade, they'll count that basket. Wow, what a first step by Wade. On that crossover, Roy blew Williams right was, by. He was saying, wait a minute, that was traveling. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm not going to give him a travel on that one. That's just a great crossover dribble. And Roy better put a hat on. He's going to catch a cold over there if he's going to get that close to Wade. On that he's out of foul trouble. One of the few turnovers in his half for Kansas. Here's Wade inside Jackson. Beautiful pass by Wade. Oh, Wade just glides. <laughs> Wade over Lee. Ah, tough shot, but he so But I didn't expect this to happen here in this half. I did expect Michigan State to give Penn a pretty good going over. Nice pump fake. Off the glass for two. Wade. Stolen away. Marquette with a rare break. And Wade. How smooth is Wade? story from Greg and Clark and the crew pre-game show you talked about the triple doubles in tournament history to start and Wade joined Lick with names he joined Magic and Andre Miller took that Kansas number 55 Leon Wade one matchup to watch here that could be interesting and there's Wade again Jim so smooth that's it who would have believed it, huh? Had that last basket gone in, it would have set the all-time Final Four record for the largest margin. 33, though, is the difference. So Cincinnati and Michigan State can still claim it, huh? That's right. Power and the desire to be the best. I have come with the purpose. I am ready to penetration. Ready to dominate. That's for the ball over, man. So what I've been working on. Right between the eyes. Ready to feel the pressure. Come up big. You got it. Stay down, my man, and say, I got you. I got you. I cannot be stopped. I cannot be stopped. I, 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 I am ready. ready.